From your experience, and long experience in the Senate, uh, chairing the Foreign Affairs Committee, and most importantly now as Secretary, I, I, I know you appreciate, as do I somewhat, the need for a Deputy Secretary for Management and Resources. Uh, it's something that in my experience on this subcommittee and Commerce Justice, uh, we worked together, uh, I think it was 2001, to create that position. Uh, the uh, Secretary Clinton was the first uh, secretary to fill the position. Uh, of course, that person left in February, uh, and I don't think you filled that position yet. I think it's very important because uh, as the secretary, your mind is on policy matters primarily, and, and we need that person in the department that is sort of the chief of staff, the operator of day-to-day -day operations, to relieve you of those kinds of decisions and, and responsibilities. C can you tell me when you might want to fill that spot, or maybe you have? I, I want to fill it uh, uh, immediately, but I've been really working hard uh, to uh, find uh, the right person to uh, recommend to the president, and ultimately it's the president's decision. Um, and and so we have several really terrific candidates, to be honest with you. And um, I expect a recommendation to be made, and, and if the president approves it, the president will make the nomination uh, very, very shortly. Good. I couldn't agree with you more. Very Good. important position. We need it filled. Great. I, I, I thank you for that. Also, uh, I don't think we have an assistant secretary for legislative yet either. Uh, we we don't, but we again uh, there's several positions unfilled where we have picked people, and and uh, the president is poised to make the nominations, but we have to go through the normal you know sort of vetting vetting process, and that's happening. I'm confident it will. We're all on the same page of trying to move this as rapidly as possible. And I feel confident that uh, we're going to have a slew of people coming up here very, very quickly. Good. Well, it's important for those, both those spots from our point of view. We need somebody to uh, Couldn't talk agree to. with you more. But in fairness, we've got some terrific people there who are managing it now. And yeah. I think, uh, you know, we want the position filled because it's better to do so. But I think we're on top of things. Let me touch briefly with uh, uh, something very important to you that you mentioned in your opening statement, embassy security. Um, the uh, CR that we just passed uh, included $2 billion over the uh, fiscal 12 enacted level uh, for this purpose. The uh, CR also directed the Secretary to submit a spend plan for those funds within 30 days of enactment, and then a report within 90 days providing an assessment of security requirements at our facilities worldwide and a comprehensive plan for addressing those requirements, and a detailed description of embassy security improvements to be supported from the increased monies. Uh, neither the spend plan nor the report are not yet late. Um, we still don't have the information that we really need uh, to uh, staff uh, whatever the plans are. I wonder if we, if you this could. Is on the embassy security, Mr. Chairman? Yes. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't want to interrupt you. I'm sorry. Well, no, that's. I just wonder if you could tell us when we can have that plan. Well, I thought. Uh, let me just say that in front of me, I got the 2.6 billion includes 1.6 billion on the world, worldwide security projects, 1.4 billion for capital security construction, 101 million for compound security, 130 million for maintenance cost sharing. 106 million for repair improvement, major rehab, uh, 679 for ongoing operations, 250 for overseas. Consent. I think it's laid out. I don't know why. Okay, I'm told it's coming forthwith. But I, but we do have it broken down, and we're obviously all of this has been done in direct response to the requirements of the ARB where I think we're out of the 29 requirements for them where uh, classified, we're at 26 that have been either closed or initiated completely. When I say initiated completely, language training, which was one of the recommendations 
you know, we've started people, but we're not going to see them for another year or so or two. Till yeah, I'm, I'm just asking yeah. for the justifications. No big deal. We just need the plan so we can do our work. We'll get it to you as soon as possible. Um, we, we just still don't have the spend plan and the um, justifications for fiscal 14. Get them to you as soon as we can, Mr. Uh, Chairman. That'll help us as, as you prepare to mark up. Well, it's important for me. To, yeah, we need you to have that, and we'll get that yeah. to you as soon as we can. Mr. Secretary, uh, I have no further questions uh, for the record. I want to compliment you on your presentation here today. It's been very forceful and cogent, and we Thank appreciate you, your being here.